week 33, first grade through fourth grade. Teachers, we're going to do another STEM activity this week. We're going to make aluminum boats out of aluminum foil, and we're going to see how many pennies they could hold. Uh, I've given you rulers. We're going to give the kids rulers. They're going to measure off. We're going to work in partners on this. So we have one foot of aluminum foil. It's one foot by one foot. It comes in that size and that width. So they start with a square foot and they bend their aluminum foil till they can make something that'll float. So this is kind of a rough estimate. I don't want you telling them how to build it. It needs to be a discovery lesson where they just trial and practice and try and practice until they get it right. So that's what the STEM activity is. Not you telling them how to build it. We're going to see if it floats. So I've got it over here in the water. Change my camera angle a little here. And then the object of this is to see how many pennies I can put in my boat without it sinking. And I'm just going to start counting, and I'm not going to take up your time counting. But if their boat sinks right off the bat, they have time to take the aluminum ball back out, redesign it, come up with a better way for it to hold pennies, and my boat started taking on water. So we're going to have data charts where they record how many trials did they do, how many pennies could they get on their boat, and they need to make sure that they don't do it as fast as I did. They need to drop one penny at a time into the water instead of, like I did, a whole bunch at a time. I'm just trying to speed it up so your video won't be that long. So it's a good uh, STEM activity where they're recording data, where they're counting, where they're redesigning, where they're doing trials and experiments, redesigning, working together as a team in a partnership, because they're going to tend to want to argue over how to build a boat, and they're going to come up with a way to get this thing to float with the most amount of pennies.